it is time to unbox the San Diego Comic-Con Summer Convention Exclusive from Walmart.com. That's right, folks. Today we got in the Walmart.com San Diego Convention, or you could say the Summer Convention Exclusive from the San Diego Comic-Con of the walmart.com version walmart had two exclusive and i picked up one uh as you guys know every freaking time i order from walmart something's wrong with the freaking package i've tried order to my house still have problems with the package i tried picking them up at the store still have problem with the package and, and the tripping part is the package is always in the box itself is in good condition if you see my other videos it's just the funko inside either got a scratch on it a dent on it something's always screwed up with the funko inside so the only way you could get this summer exclusive from walmart is you had to order it online because i didn't see any in the store and i didn't want to take the chance of it not being in the store so i ordered it online so you guys can see i'm dreading to open this damn thing because i'm sure i'm going to have a problem with it so let's go ahead and do this together so we can all experience it together i got my razor blade this time bam bam hopefully we'll have a good one it's always something with walmart.com all right here we go let's see what we got open it up okay we have air packets we see that right now air packet air packet <laughs> air packet all right doesn't look like it has much room to move yeah it does move in there yeah yeah y'all see it bump 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 so it does move in there whenever they throw it around let's see what we got we have them in the Freaking the first thing I see on top, they're freaking stickers. Why in the hell, Walmart, you have to put these stickers on these Funko Pops? Come on. Oh. All right, here we go. All right, let's take a look at this box here. And that is the Combat Assault Tank Trooper. Okay, let's turn this box around. I think the box is okay. It looks like it's okay. So we did get lucky on this one. This box is okay. I don't see any dents, any tears. We lucked out, folks. The only thing is Walmart and their freaking stickers on top of here. Can someone tell me why they put these unit labels on top? I don't get it. They do come off. I think the last one I had, it did come off pretty, pretty easy. Hopefully there's no glue residue on it. Let's give it a try to peel it off of there and see what happens. <sighs> I'm doing it slowly. You gotta see that, huh? Oh God, and sure enough, it's sticky right there. And you guys know how to get rid of that sticky stuff. Cause I don't know what to use. I don't know if I should use water or someone, I think someone said Windex one time. I don't know what to use that wouldn't mess up the you know what? I'm going to leave it on there. You guys, leave me a comment if you ever had this issue with these stickers. Because I have a bunch of things with stickers on them that I want to take off. Like price tags and these freaking Walmart stickers. And let me know what you guys use to take these off. I know some people say that you could use a uh, blow dryer. And maybe some Windex or some kind of cleaning solution. But I'm, I'm afraid that the cleaning solution would mess up the cardboard. So you know what we're gonna do? If you guys can give me a suggestion on how to do this, I'm gonna take you guys' suggestion, and we're gonna do another video of us removing these stickers with you guys' suggestions. Let's do that. So that's what we'll do. I'll leave that on there for another video. Now, let's see what this combat assault tank trooper look like. Let me take him out of the box. Well, all right there, check him out. Now they did do a good, oh, I got a little problem at the bottom. I got a little paint flaw at the bottom left. You guys see that at the bottom? Yeah, it's on the base though. The base has a little uh, scratch, like the paint scratched off of it. 
But other than that, it looks like a pretty cool Funko. Uh, he has that bobblehead. That's a pretty cool uh, helmet that he has on him. That combat assault tank trooper. That is a pretty cool helmet. I like that helmet. Now the paint job on the Funko itself does look pretty cool. It does look pretty cool. It is a nice looking Stone Trooper Funko. No paint flaws on the Funko itself, except for that base. It must have rubbed against something at the bottom. I guess it doing production. But other than that, hey, it's pretty cool. I could get into the base. I could get a base from something else if I wanted to. But other than that, this is a pretty cool looking Funko. I can dig it. Well, all right, folks, that is all I wanted to do was to come on here real quick and show you guys this Combat Assault Tank Trooper. It's a cool looking pop. I got to admit it. It does look pretty cool. So, like I said before, I want to do another video on taking these stickers off of these Funko boxes and seeing uh, what works best. I haven't done it before, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just do it on camera. Leave me some comments on how to take them things off. We're going to give everyone comment a try. Everyone has a different comment a try to see how it works. So guys, that is it for this episode of Out of the Box, because I just wanted to show you guys my Walmart.com summer exclusive Funko Pop. And I have more coming in every day, so it almost looks like I'm going to have a video for every day. Because this came in today, and I, I have like three more to come in, and it looks like they come in every day, so look out for those videos. So guys, till the next video, I'll see you guys later. It's time to unbox the San Diego Comic Con Summer Exclusive. Summer Convention Exclusive. Okay, start that over. <laughs>